we don't want to make it seem like the Ukrainians have been taking advantage of the United States right. all this time. Right. No, and no, no. The, the United States. The Ukrainians. Yeah. Yes. The opposite. Right. Right. Is the United States has been doing what it's been doing to countries for the last 30 years, if not much longer, which is offering sort of hints of support and clearly communicating to the regime in Kiev that, yeah, we'll help you out. We're going to we'll have your back if uh, we provoke some sort of conflict with the Russians. Here's some uh, uh, here's some weapons. Oh, yeah. NATO membership. That sounds good. They said the same thing to the Georgians back in 2008. And then a war breaks out shortly thereafter, which did not help the Georgians at all. And then the United States continues to toy with this idea of encouraging Ukraine to talk about NATO membership and train NATO troops there and really just more and more create the impression that they're about to defect to NATO and shut out uh, the Russians and maybe even ramp up the war against the ethnic Russians in the Donbass. And I think the United States encouraged them all along. And the, the even greater tragedy of this is that the only people who were making those bad decisions in Kiev were, of course, regime people, right? So women, children, old people, regular people just wanted to live their lives in parts of Ukraine that are now being shelled. They're the ones that pay the real cost. I noticed Zelensky's still alive, right? And he's the one who's making all these most horrible decisions that resulted in the deaths of thousands. And... So I <laughs> I want to make it sure that the, w we do appreciate and are sympathetic toward the, uh, the bait and switch, the tricks that Washington has played on the Ukrainians, which, by the way, they did to the, the people who helped the U.S. in Afghanistan and Iraq. People, people of the world, stop listening to the U.S. regime when it claims it's going to help you improve your geopolitical situation. They're just using you and they're going to abandon you as soon as things start to go bad for the U.S. regime. So uh, unfortunately, Ukraine has learned that lesson now.